Hello and welcome to Airgun Ballistics 101, the most detailed, most comprehensive and hopefully the most helpful and educational airgun specific long range shooting tutorial series on the internet. My name is Matt Dubber, I am an airgun enthusiast if ever you've met one and my real passion is the pursuit of perfect accuracy. It seems like a goal that we are always falling just short of but one thing I've learned over the years is that air guns are incredibly complicated, probably even more so than powder burners. And the more you understand about the way that they work, the closer you get to reaching that goal of perfect accuracy. You may still fall short, but you can always improve. And that is what makes the sport so interesting and so addictive. In this series, I'm going to attempt to share everything I know with you or at least a large part of what I know, but we're going to take it slow and divide the series up into more or less about 15 parts. This should make it easier to digest and will also allow people that are searching for specific information to find what they're looking for. The series will be divided into two main sections. We'll start off by speaking about the different kinds of air guns available in this day and age. We'll learn exactly how each of these types of guns work and we'll discuss in detail the effect that every single component can have on your accuracy. You may be surprised at just how much physics is involved in something as simple as taking a shot and you probably won't be able to look at your rifle the same way ever again. This is called internal ballistics, the study of the propulsion of a projectile from the moment the trigger is pulled to the moment the pellet exits the muzzle. And then in the second half of the series, we'll look at external ballistics, which is the study of the behavior of a projectile in flight. We look at how atmospheric conditions can affect a pellet in flight. We'll talk about how a Diablo pellet is stabilized and we'll tackle some of the really technical topics such as optimum velocity and optimum twist rate. Now, this is just a basic course outline. I might decide to add one or two sections depending on how much content I need to get through. I obviously don't want to bore you with 30 minute lessons so I'll try to keep it concise and to the point. Many of these topics are covered very well in other tutorial videos on YouTube but most of those videos are specific to centerfire rifles and as some of you may know Diablo pellets in subsonic flight behave very differently to bullets in supersonic flight. In other words, the same rules don't always apply. Hopefully I can add some much needed information to the library that we call YouTube. Whether you're a hunter, a field target, bench rest or silhouette competitor, or just a plinker looking to have some fun, you're all doing the same thing. You're launching a chunk of lead towards a target and you want to hit that target with consistency. This series should help you to analyze your shooting, figure out what areas might need some work, and perhaps even help you to choose a rifle when the time comes to upgrade. There's a damn good reason why some rifles cost 10 times more than others. And I'll warn you, there's a good chance you'll get to the end of the series and realize the need for a serious equipment upgrade. So strap yourselves in, get the popcorn ready and the notepads out. We're going to be doing some learning over the next few months. I'll see you in part two.